Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class. Now, today, before we start with the activity, my children, I have to remind you that you have will. With all of us, we have to practice the Halloween song, okay? You have to remember the lyrics and the dance moves because at the end of the month, all of us were going to sing it together. It's going to be a lot of fun and very, very scary, okay? So don't forget to practice the song. Now, today, my children, we are going to have a review of the previous topic, which was different sizes of objects and people. So let's start with the class. Now, do you remember, my children, that we had four different uh, forms of sizes? For example, when a person is thin and the other person is fat, all of those objects, do you remember them? Well, let's have a quick review. Here, we have, in the case of these two, we have some buses. These are buses. One is called a bus, but if we have two, one and two, they are called buses, okay? Now, which one of these two is the longest? The one that is purple or the, the one that is like a pink color, like pinkish, okay? Which one is long? The one that is purple is called long. And the one that is like color pink it is short, okay? Now, please, for this, stand up, up, and in. Now, once you are up, please repeat after me. Long, short. One more time. Long, short. Excellent. Let's continue with the second example. For the second example, like we mentioned it before, we have two people, okay? One is wearing a blue sweater and the other is wearing a yellow sweater. Now, the first one, the one that has the color blue, is a thin person, okay? A thin person. The other person that is wearing the yellow a sweater is a fat person, okay? Now, for this, once again, please stand up. Repeat after me. Thin, fat, thin, fat. Excellent. For example, Santa Claus, it's a person that is very, very fat, okay? Very good. Now, Let's continue with the third example. For this, we have faces, like the emojis. Emojis are faces, but the emojis are color yellow. The faces that appear here are color pink. So these two faces, these are different. They have a difference. The difference here is that the first face is not that. It's very, very sad. The second face is happy, it's very, very happy, okay? That's the difference. For this, again, repeat after me, my children. Sad, happy, with a lot of energy, very, very happy. One more time. Sad, happy, very, very happy. Excellent, okay? Now, let's continue with the final difference, the difference number four. These two objects, these are objects, and they are called balls, okay? One, it's only one ball, but if we have two without an S, balls, okay? Now, these balls are color orange, okay? They have the same color, both of them are balls, but what's the difference? What's the difference? The difference is that one of them is small, and the other one is big, okay? Very good. Please repeat after me. Small, big, okay? Very, very big. Excellent. So don't forget to practice all of these difference at home, okay? Very good. Thumbs up because we are doing an excellent job. Now, the new letter today also, my children, we are going to see a new letter. Remember that we start. Uh, re remember that we started learning all of the letters of the alphabet. 
We started with the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, and today we are going to see the letter D of Diego, of Daniela, of Dana, okay? All of those names begin with the letter D. And we have two objects that also contain that letter. But before we start with those objects, don't forget that all of the letters have two forms, capital and small. Those are also differences, okay? Some letters are capital and others are small. Today, we're going to see capital D of Diego, of Daniela, of Dana, okay? And also for the dog and the dragon. Now, the dog, my children, let's see some characteristics about dogs. Dogs can have colors brown, color black, color white, or sometimes can be color black or white, or sometimes can be brown and black. They have different colors, okay? And also, dogs can have different sizes. For example, most of the dogs are very, very small. A small dog is called a puppy, okay? But if a dog is larger, it's a big dog, okay? It's not a puppy anymore. Puppies only are small dogs, okay? Now, what about the dragons? Dragons are very dangerous and they are very, very big, okay? Sometimes dragons, they live in the castle because they have the princesses, okay? And sometimes the prince or the knight, they have to go to the castle and rescue the princess from the evil and terrible dragon. And most of the dragons are color green and they breathe fire. Okay? And they are very dangerous. So if one day we see a dragon, we have to be very careful because it is very dangerous. Okay? But don't worry, my children. The dragon that appears here is harmless, it's inoffensive doesn't hurt nobody, okay? Now, repeat after me. Let's start with the letter and the objects. Capital D. One more time. Capital D. Excellent. Dog. Dragon. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent, very good. I'm so happy because you are paying attention. Now, don't forget the activities of today, my children, don't forget to trace capital D, don't forget to trace all of the letters with your pencil, and don't forget to paint also the dog and the dragon. So that's it for today, my children. I hope you have an excellent day. Don't forget that the teacher loves you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow to have more different activities, more vocabulary, and more fun. Goodbye.